Welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the healing butterfly cowl. It can also be made into a scarf, or you can twist it and make it an infinity scarf. It has several options, and it's super easy and fun to stitch up. It's fun because we make these fun butterfly stitches that run down the sides of our cowl. Now, if you follow the pattern according to what I have written, you're gonna get a cowl that's about nine inches across and about 30 inches around. And again, that depends on how tightly that you stitch. And I love that size, I think it's perfect, but you can do as many repeats as you want to and make it as long as you want to. If you prefer a shorter cowl, you can make it shorter. There's lots of different possibilities with this one pattern. Now you can find this crochet pattern along with lots of new pictures on my blog, and I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make the healing butterfly cowl or scarf, you're going to need about five ounces of a medium weight number four yarn. This one and the demo that we're going to do today is made from Karen Cakes. The name of this is called Fairy Cake. It's a medium weight number four yarn by Yarnspirations. And I really like this color. I thought it went really well with this scarf. Now, you can use any medium weight number four yarn that you have on hand. Any of your striping or variegated yarns or even solid works just fine for this pattern. You're going to need a button that's anywhere from an inch to two inches, depending on your style. I'm going to use this one because I think it'll match really nice with what I'm doing. And you need that button in order to cinch it in to bunch it up, and I'll show you more about that later. It's not a button for a buttonhole. It's more decorative, but it is going to hold the chain that scrunches your cowl up. You're going to need an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need your needle to weave in those ends, and of course, a pair of scissors. We're going to begin with a slip knot and then we're going to chain 37 chains. And I do recommend that you chain this beginning chain just a little bit loose. I have chained my 37 chains. I'm going to stitch a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. We don't count the loop on our hook. One, two, three, four, yarn over, go in that fourth chain, and we're going to stitch a double crochet. And then we'll stitch one double crochet in each of the chains across. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops, yarn over, and go through the second two loops. So one, double crochet in each of the chains, working all the way across our chain. I began in the fourth chain from the hook and I stitched one double crochet in each stitch across. Our chain three counts as one, and then we stitched in each chain across, so we have 35 double crochets. We're going to chain three and turn our work. Our chain three here and on every row 
counts as a double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the next stitch, and then we're going to double crochet in each stitch across. And so we began in the next stitch because our chain three counted as one double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet in each of our double crochets all the way across. I've stitched one double crochet in each of my double crochets across. So I again have 35 double crochets. I'm going to chain three. And again, we're going to turn our work and also our chain three counts as our first double crochet. Now on this row, we're going to begin our butterfly stitch pattern. So that chain three counts as our first double crochet, and now we're going to double crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, because our chain three counted as our first, we have seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to chain seven. We're going to skip the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to double crochet in that next stitch. And then we'll double crochet in the next six so that we have seven double crochets. So there's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're going to chain seven again. One, two, three, four, whoops, five, six, and seven. And we'll skip the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that leaves seven on the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we'll chain three. All right, let's take a look at it. We have seven double crochets. We chained seven and skipped seven. Seven double crochets, chain seven, skip seven, and we ended with seven double crochets and chain three. So we still have 35 stitches. It's just seven here and seven here are chains. All right, let's do row four. We chained three. We're gonna turn our work. We're going to double crochet in the next six stitches, which will give us seven double crochets because we're counting that chain three as our first. There's six and seven. We're again going to chain seven. One, two, whoops, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna skip over that chain and double crochet in the next seven stitches. Whoops, there we go. There's six and seven. Now we're going to chain seven again. And 
There we go. This yarn's a little slippy. All right, now we're going to skip that chain and we'll stitch one double crochet in those last seven stitches. One, two, three. six and seven and again we'll chain three and you can see we have our seven double crochets we chained seven we skipped these seven double crochets chain seven and we ended with seven double crochets we chained three we're going to turn our work and now for row five, we're going to repeat what we did for row four. We'll stitch a double crochet in those next six stitches because our chain three counted as our first. We'll chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We'll skip that chain and stitch one double crochet in those seven stitches. One, two, three, four. Whoops. There we go. That was five, six, and seven. And then again, we'll chain seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then again, one double crochet in those last seven stitches. and chain three. All right, so now you can kind of see what we've done, the pattern. We did three rows of seven double crochets, seven chains, seven double crochets, seven chains, and seven double crochets. So now on our next row, we're going to form the butterflies. All right, so we have our chain three. We're gonna turn our work. One double crochet in the next six stitches because again, our chain three counts as our first. Now we're going to chain three and we're going to single crochet going around all three of these chains. So we'll go around, we'll grab our yarn and pull it up, yarn over and go through the loop, and then one, two, three chains. And that's going to form our butterfly. All right, so now we'll go to our next double crochet and we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those seven double crochets. Chain three. We're going to single crochet around these chains. So we'll go around, grab our yarn, yarn over, go through those loops and chain three, and then one double crochet in those last seven. There we go. There's five, six, and seven. 
we'll go ahead and chain three and we'll take a look at it. And now we can see how the butterfly stitch pattern is formed by stitching around those chains that we did. So we have seven stitches of double crochet. We have chain three, single crochet around, chain three, and then we repeated that, and then one double crochet in those last seven stitches. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to continue to repeat these rows, stitching three rows of double crochets, chain seven, seven double crochets, chain seven, seven double crochets, and then you'll repeat this row, which is row six, seven double crochets, three chains, single crochet around, chain three, and you'll repeat that for as many rows as you need for the length of your scarf. All right, let's do another set of repeats just to make sure you understand how the pattern works. So you're going to do three rows of seven double crochets. And again, our chain three counts as our first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One double crochet in the next seven. All right, there's my seven double crochets and I'll chain seven. And now I'll stitch one double crochet in those last seven. and chain three. And then we'll repeat this for two more rows, seven double crochets, seven chains, seven double crochets, seven chains, seven double crochets, and we'll repeat this for two more rows. I have repeated this row for two more rows, so I have three rows of my seven double crochets, chain seven, seven double crochets, chain seven and seven double crochets. So we chain three and turn, and now we're going to make the butterfly look like a butterfly. All right, so we're stitching our seven double crochets, and again, that chain three counts as our first. There's six and seven. We're going to chain three, We'll single crochet around those stitches. So we'll go around, grab our yarn, pull it up, yarn over, and go through those two loops and chain three. So now we've made our second butterfly. All right, so we'll stitch a double crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And again, we'll chain three, single crochet around those three chains, and chain three. And then one double crochet in those last seven stitches. Oops. There we go. And chain three. And so now we have two butterflies 
There's actually four, but you know, two on each row. <laughs> and that's the way the butterfly scarf works. You continue to repeat row seven, row eight, and row nine, and then row 10. And you're going to repeat this if you want your pattern the length of mine, which is about 30 inches long, you're going to repeat those four rows 15 more times. And again, that gets you about a 30 inch scarf or cowl. Now, if you want it to be longer, continue to repeat them for as long as you want them. If you want it to be a little bit shorter, do less repeats. I'm going to be repeating mine for 15 more times. I have completed my 15 repeats, which gives me 17 repeats. All right, so now we're going to put a row of double crochets on the end of our cowl. Now remember, if this isn't long enough for you, you can add more repeat rows. If you're thinking it's too long, you can do less rows. We've chained three, we're going to turn our work. So our chain three counts as our first, and we'll stitch one double crochet in those next six. All right, this brings us to our first butterfly. We're going to chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those seven stitches. And then we'll chain seven like we've done before. And one double crochet in these last seven stitches. So we have seven double crochets, chain seven, seven double crochets, chain seven, and seven double crochets. Chain three and turn. And for our last row, we're going to stitch a double crochet in each double crochet, and then we'll stitch seven double crochets in that chain seven space. And this will give us a nice even row of double crochets on the end of our scarf so that we can put them together to form the cowl. All right, so here I am at the chain seven. So I'm just gonna go around that chain and stitch one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven double crochets. And you may need to spread them out a little bit so it looks nice and even, instead of letting them bunch up. <laughs> Alrighty, so one double crochet and the next seven double crochets. Let's move our work over a little bit here. There we go. Alright. Double crochet. This brings us to our chain seven. So we're going to stitch seven double crochets around that chain seven. So there's one, here's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Again, you may need to spread them out a little bit and then one double crochet in these last seven stitches. There's five, 
6, and 7. We're going to chain 3 and turn. And now we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of those double crochets across. One double crochet in each of the double crochets across. So I finished stitching my double crochets across and you can see that it looks similar to this end with two rows of double crochet. Now if you don't want to form this into a cowl or also called an infinity scarf which is a round circle um, you can just leave it like this you can tie off and weave in your end and you've got a nice scarf. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the two ends together and make it into a cowl. Now, if you want to twist it, you can. I don't want to. I want mine to just be a nice circle. And also, you decide which is your front and which is your back. With this type of pattern, because we went back and forth, there really isn't a set front and back of your work. All right? So that's something that you can decide which you want to be your front and which you want to be the back of your cowl. To stitch the ends together, you're just going to line them up together, put our hook through the first stitch here, and grab that loop. And what we're going to do is we're just going to single crochet it together. All right, so we'll go through the stitches on this side and this side and stitch a single crochet. Now I do recommend that you don't stitch this too tightly. Again, you don't want the end of your cowl to pucker up on you. So we're just going to move across, stitching the front and the back together with single crochet stitches. And again, make sure you're stitching just a little bit loose. Once you've stitched your two sides together with your single crochet stitches across, we're going to tie off. Oh, don't forget to cut your yarn <laughs> and tie off. And then we'll just take our needle and go ahead and weave those ends in. And then once you get your ends weaved in, you're going to want to flip that over to the right side. Now, make sure when you're doing this, there we go that you're weaving that in nice and tight because this is a seam that's probably going to get pulled on just a little bit. So go back and forth weaving in those fibers and stitches and then we'll cut that off. And since we're down here we're going to go ahead and weave in this other end where we started. Alright, so we're going to tidy this up We'll flip it over and then I'll show you how to add that button and cinch it up a little bit just to give it a little style. All right, I've tidied it up. I'm going to flip it over and you'll see that there is a seam and that seam goes at the back of the neck. All right, so there's my cowl. I can wear it just like this if I want to, but I don't want to. <laughs> I want to add this cute button that I have. I think it matches really nice with all the different shades in this yarn. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn and we're going to chain 40 chains. So we'll begin with our slip knot and we'll chain 40 chains. I've chained my 40 chains. I'm going to cut my yarn and tie that off. Now before we add our button we're going to go ahead and put a knot in the end of both ends of our chain because we don't want that to come undone. Alright so there's one end and we'll do the other end 
trying to get that knot right down there at the bottom of that chain. And so I'm giving a good hard pull there. All right, now we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna grab our needle and we'll just grab a piece of yarn and make sure that your needle goes through the eye of your button or you could have a problem. All right, so we'll thread that on. Now we need to decide where we wanna add our button. Now the seam is going to be on the back and I wanna cinch mine up about right here. Actually, I'm gonna do it right here at the color change. I think that would be really pretty. All right, so what we're gonna do is take our button and in the center of our cowl, we're gonna sew that on. All right, so I'm going to go in a few of these stitches and make a loop. And I always like to do that when I'm sewing a button on crochet or knit. All right, so now I'm going to put my button through and make sure when you're sewing your button on that you go through stitches for a good sturdy attachment. If you go through the holes, sometimes it slips through. All right. Now I'm going to take my crochet hook. I'm going to pull that string under. And now we're going to give this a good knot. We want this button to stay on. It's not going to be buttoning and unbuttoning, but it might get a little bit of wear and tear. All right. So, you know, I like to do those three knots. I'm going to add one more just for good measure. <laughs> I don't want my button to come off. All right, so now our button is attached to the front in the center of our cowl. We're going to take this chain and put it underneath. We're going to scrunch this up, making sure that button stays up, and we're going to wrap this around, and we're just going to form a loop like this. Okay, now we'll take the other end and do the same thing. Wrap it around the button and pull the tail through the loop and snug it down. And give both those tails a nice good pull and then we'll come underneath the button and just knot that up again. And you can see it doesn't make a very long tail on our cowl. If you want that to be longer, you can certainly make that longer. All right, and so that is our healing butterfly cowl with a cute button.